Well, we are kicking off LCS in just a couple days with coverage brought to you by Alienware. I am joined right now by Wild Turtle for Media Day. How you been, Wild Turtle? I've been good. I've been good. Just quarantine life, and uh, I lost all my hair. If you haven't seen, did you? I I see. Is it a hairband or headband? No, I just have no hair. Oh, you did. You did cut it, or you shaved it, or whatever. Yeah, I shaved it, or whatever. Yeah. Wait. So, did you trim it down, or were you like literally bald at one point? Uh, I mean, I just had a buzz cut. I mean, it's a, I mean, I just needed a haircut really badly. I didn't take a photo of my hair beforehand, but it was like so long. No, that's how it, I feel it, for sure. Yeah, and then Igner said like his mom was like a hair designer, and then he's like, I I could cut your hair for you. We started cutting my hair, it didn't turn out very well, and then I just wait. Hey God, so Ignor said my mom is a hair designer, so I can cut your hair. <laughs> I mean, he just said that, but like I I don't think he was serious about like being good or not. He just wanted to say that, you know. So then, was the plan for him to buzz your hair, or was he gonna actually do stuff to it? Well, he 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 tried to design my hair, like cut parts of it, and he's like, "How does this look? It doesn't look too bad." And then was this was filmed like, anywhere? No, I don't think it was. Oh actually, my I'm god, this is the content opportunity of a lifetime here. That that was, it was, I mean, just when I grow my hair again, I guess. Oh my god. Okay, so then he was cutting it, and then it was just like, "All right, screw it," and then he just buzzed it down. I mean, I said, "Screw it, let's buzz it." Okay. <laughs> I didn't really like well, it. how do you like the shorter hair? Uh, I like it. I mean, showering is a lot easier now because I don't even have to use a blow dryer, so right. that's kind of convenient. Is this? Are you in a different room now, or has this always been what your room? It looks very different. Maybe new furniture. No, it's, it's the same room, I think. Okay, well, it's nice. Yeah. Good job. Anyway, uh, so you're wait. Are you living with everybody? You are, right? Yeah, I am. Okay. I am living with everybody right now. Uh, I'm planning on moving pretty soon, though. So probably right before the season starts wait so like, like one or two days yeah in the next one or two days yeah. why are you moving uh, i just want to try something new i've been living actually i'm not used to being in one place for a very long time i think throughout my whole career i've always moved like every year so yeah. it's kind of weird being in a place for longer than two years because i've been in this house for almost two years now and i so power of evil was of... saying it's great everybody's living together it's like a frat house very clearly you don't feel that way I mean, I like it too. I mean, I definitely feel that way. I mean, it's definitely. So if you like I mean, it, then the, why are the you moving? Is, but the thing is, like, I mean, I need something new. But also, the thing is, like, we we always just hang out. It's like a frat house, but we're hanging out on on Discord, you know, like, because we're all still on the PC, you know, we're all yes. gamers, so we're just hanging out on Discord, you know, like I can still do that from a, another another place. I just don't. I think there there must be some reason that you are moving that you're not saying, because. Why? Because you just said that you like living there and it's fine. So then why yeah, spend all the money and go I someplace? Just, and, I, I just said I like to change. I like okay. change too. Yeah. That's wild. All right. Um, <laughs> well, how was your break? Uh, my break was spent mostly just playing video games. Um, nothing crazy. I just played a little bit of Valorant, a little bit of League. Um, watched a few shows here and there. I rewatched. Avatar, The Last Airbender, that was pretty fun. Yeah, I guess a lot of people did because it hit Netflix, right? Yeah, yeah, I think that's why. I was like, huh, I'll just rewatch this. Yeah, it's a good show for sure. I, I love that show. Uh, all right, so you did that. I was talking to Power of Evil, and yesterday I did some interviews, and I did Hotline League, and I noticed a lot of people, whenever they're predicting teams that are going to be in the top four, are not predicting FlyQuest, even though you guys got second. Still? Yes. Yeah. Is that so? Is that frustrating to you to hear people still? Uh, yeah, I guess that is very frustrating because I thought by now, because I think people are counting us out for multiple splits now. I think, yeah. and we've always had like a decent showing. I think part of that we took like fourth as well. Um, but yeah, that that, that that's kind of uh, frustrating. Not like, everybody, but still, like, there's a lot of times where people are like, "Oh yeah, I think TSM could be up there, TL, Evil Geniuses." And uh, and I'm always like, what about FlyQuest? And they're like, oh yeah, maybe FlyQuest. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. So it's just kind of interesting to see how that plays um, out. I, I mean, I I think it just comes down to like performing. You know, like it, we'll just consistently keep performing. I, I don't I don't really get too frustrated from it, honestly. Like, just got to be a good team. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the Friday night stuff instead of Monday? Um, I don't think it would change too much considering we're just playing at home nowadays. Like, yeah. I think maybe if we played physically in, in this stadium, it could be a little bit different instead of doing the money thing. But for it's so one day is just like the other now, I guess, to you guys. 
Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Well, a lot of people were saying it sucked when you guys didn't get, like, a day off, right? Like, Monday or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we still have a day offs right now. I think right now we're streaming, like, six days a week and just taking, like, Sundays off. Right. I don't know if that's a schedule everyone's agreed on, but that's how we're doing it over here in FlyQuest. Okay, well, here, I'll ask you, you know, kind of going back to the top four thing. Uh, people, what, where, what teams do you see being strong besides maybe Cloud9 and yourself this split? Based off of some of the scrims or whatever. Um, I think 100 Thieves is going to be pretty good. I think they did pretty well last split anyway. But They I did they okay, were... but they were definitely not, like, really good. Well, we were saying, like, outside of us in C9, so yeah. I'm just trying to think. Um, I think, I think EG is going to be doing pretty well again. Um, I think they, they got, like, third, so I think they're yeah. going to be doing again, uh, well again this split. Um, who else could be good? Yeah, I think those are the only teams I can really think of that would be pretty good going into summer. Well, I guess we'll yeah. have to find out. I just realized we're unfortunately out of time because uh, we have uh, limited time windows for this stuff. But is there anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Um, come follow us on our uh, ocean journey at Sequest. Oh, I'm excited to find out about this. Or maybe you guys have already oh. announced it. I guess we'll find yeah, out Yeah, I, mean, I think we just announced it. So Okay, I'll go awesome. check it out. Thanks so much for the interview, Turtle. And for everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Hey, I want to give a big shout out to Draft Buff and Alienware for sponsoring this video. Alienware has released some amazing new hardware since Spring Split. You might have missed it because, you know, you haven't been watching my ads talking about it. But they now have updates to their M15 and M17 line, their Area 51 M and also their Aurora. So basically, you know, all the stuff that we use here at Travis Gafford Industries to make stuff has been newly refreshed. And you can still use Travis 10 off, but you need to add Q2 at the end of it. Travis 10 off Q2 to save 10%. And there's a link in the video description, alienware.com slash Travis to check out their stuff. It really helps me out. Thanks so much.